Okay, uh, we're going to kind of compare uh, using Lightroom 5 and Apple's new photo app that's supposed to re be replacing iPhotos. You can do quite a bit of editing with it. Uh, also, I want to try the new photo app with using raw um, pictures from a DSLR. And uh, I've already edited a uh, picture earlier in Lightroom 5. Uh, we have the same one loaded up in the photo app and first thing I'm actually going to do uh, we're going to spend several minutes color correcting compared with Lightroom 5. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set my white balance first go to uh, temperature and tints I'm going to choose uh, something uh, gray uh, that one okay to set white balance uh, it's kind of funny because normally you would use white in the picture and that appears to uh, improve the uh, white balance uh, then usually after I do that I'm going to try the exposure now I'm going to try to set them using these sliders and I may or may not decide to tweak using the individual settings you can do as well and uh, we're gonna definitely going to boost the exposure up quite a bit uh, I don't want to try to overblow it too much And uh, just like so. I uh, definitely want to brighten it up as much as possible. Uh, as you can see, when you do the uh, the main slider, it will do all the individual adjustments for you. Of course, you can go in there and tweak it as necessary. Um, actually, that may not be too bad. And let me see what else we have. Okay, let me go ahead and do... Um, color, which is obviously um, more to do with saturation, but they have a, a couple other. Um, don't want to go too crazy with saturation too much, so definitely going to add in some enhancements. Um, actually, I'm also going to look at my histogram. And... Um, Seems like the uh, the uh, the shadows are exposed. I'm not sure what color. I don't like uh, typically like these type of histograms <laughs> compared to something like Final Cut Pro 10 because it, it Final Cut Pro 10 have bigger ones. It's a little easier to, uh, definitely to tell than using this histogram because you don't have very much from either end to kind of tell how far uh, over or close to it you are. Um. I might use a little bit of shar um, sharpen. Let me see. In fact, we may just reset this one. And I already checked the focus on it previously. It was actually set pretty good. Let me see what the... Okay, that one's about the same. Uh, I don't think we really need noise, but... Reduction too much. In fact, I'd probably set that down a bit. Okay, just like so. And this should be most of our adjustments. Uh, the only thing is I'm not 100% uh, sure with is the exposure. I can get something pretty close just right there. Okay, I'm just going to say this is done, just to say it's done. Um, now, like I said before, I do have the one that I did in Lightroom 5. And hopefully I got a way I can uh, go back and forth. Okay, this is the one in Lightroom 5. This is the one in Photos. Um, <laughs> it actually looks like uh, the Photos version is a little bit better. Of course, it just depends, too, because... Sometimes when I did the one in Lightroom 5, I uh, my mindset's a little bit different compared to the Photos version. But um, here I didn't worry about over exposing it as much than like I did in Lightroom 5. In fact, I'll bring it down a little bit. And uh, Lightroom 5 here. And then Photos. Of course, this is entirely subjective, like I said, and I'm not the uh, best editor in the world, but surprisingly, this is a very uh, great way of doing it without having to go out and purchase uh, Lightroom 5 and necessarily know all the 
adjustments I did earlier try to use the um, enhance button only and in fact I'll show you that real quick and to me it didn't really do much of a job doing that as you can see here um, so if you go uh, where you have let the photo app do everything all at once it doesn't seem to work very well but if you do it individually you can get a much better picture so that's kind of comparing Lightroom 5 to the new photo app. I'm not saying one is better than the other. Obviously, Lightroom 5 is going to be much better for a better user. Uh, I'm still learning Lightroom 5 in uh, Apple Photos. So uh, decide for yourself.